On this episode of Real Life Adventures, Tucker and J.C. Carlson fish for permit on the wrecks surrounding Marathon in the Florida Keys. The brothers also sample and rate the finest smoked fish dips in Key West. I look good, I feel good. Tucker and J.C. Carlson are headed offshore to try and catch one of the toughest species of fish in the Florida Keys, permit. So, we're out here on this wreck, out here looking for these permit, and they're out here schooling up in, in balls of like, maybe 100 of them. You just gotta look around and find the ball of permit on the surface, and you're gonna take your crab on your jig head and just start right into the school of the permit. You're just gonna see them flashing on the surface. It's a really subtle bite. It's a really fun, hard fighting fish. There's a lot that goes into it. And it's really fun once you get it dialed in. Permit are closely related to the Florida Pompano, and the two can be confused with juveniles. Both species are in the Jack family, which include Jack Creval, Yellow Jacks, and Amber Jack. Got him into the rig. Broke him off. So these permit, like, they're such a super hard fighting fish. You're gonna wanna really get on these fish as soon as you can, cause they're gonna do anything they can to get you into that bottom, however way. You see, you're gonna find yourself a nice grab. So I'm gonna take it right here and go right on the corner. That point, I'm just gonna push that hook. Just gonna wiggle it through its shell. It's just gonna sit just like that, cause they eat like a bird. And they're gonna eat, get all the meat out of the inside of the crab and spit out the top shell. And he's gonna spit your hook out right with that top shell. Cause it's so hard for your hook to come out of there. The only way for your crab to come off when you get bit. Get ready, Tuck. Just, just wait your turn, just wait your turn. That's all it is. Permit live long lives. Researchers discovered that a three-foot permit is over 20 years old. They can grow to be over 50 pounds. Permits spend their time between the shallow flats and offshore wrecks and reefs. They primarily feed on crabs and small mollusks. You just love obstacles. You just love obstacles. I can't, I can't help you on that one. You know what? Since you're cut it. Cut it. Got him on the horse. Yes, sir. Let's get it. It took us a minute. But now, got him on. That won't roll on me, Doug. Yeah. Screaming for me. Come to me. Come. Come. To me. Oh boy. Runner. Runner. I still see the school. Got me in the wreck. Permit in the wreck. 
Permit one, JC zero. 90 new jig. That was when we wanted right there. Nice permit. Finally get the E that we want. I guess he wanted to get away more than I wanted to catch him, you could say. He'd run, 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 run. I'd gain 20 and he'd take 40. And then I'd gain 10 and he'd take another 30. Strong fish. Very sought after fish. Look at him flashing over there. Got him out! Permit are difficult to hook and catch, partly because of their incredible vision. Permit have eyes nearly the size of golf balls and can rotate almost 360 degrees. Once hooked, permit are known as one of the ultimate game fish, fighting viciously. Good job, Tuck. I'm gonna try and help you out, too. There he is, on the surface, on the surface, on the surface. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Ten years late, then. Right here, right here, right here. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Easy, you got light meter, light meter, light meter. It's a beautiful fish right there, boy. Right, here, boy. right in the corner of the mouth, baby. That's how we do it around here. Yeah. Every time. Permit provide good table fare. However, you must follow local rules and regulations for all fish in regards to size, bag limits, and fishery closings. JC and Tucker release this beauty to find another day. Yes, sir. Hey, Tuck. High five. Yes, sir. All right, my boy. Good job. Good job, Tuck. Good job, good job. After a long day on the water, the boys visit the SS Wreck and Galley Grill to chow down and relax. So we're here at the wreck after a long day of fishing. We've been permit fishing all day. Had a fun day with Tucker. Nice and rough out for us. No doubt. But we made it happen. We found some fish and had fun while we were doing it. Now it's time to eat. We were there all morning and watched people break off. We were breaking off and the one I hooked, it went in, broke us off on the wreck and then found the school again. And I'm like, all right, Tucker, it's your turn. Tucker gets on him and what did he do? He caught it. He didn't let it get into the wreck. So worked out perfect. He came up, swimming on the surface for us, did everything we can do. Right to the boat. Swam right to us. That's what we like. No doubt. Tomorrow, me and Tucker got our boys, and we're going to go down to Key West and go see what fun we can get into down there. No doubt. You'll find out. Tucker and J.C. Carlson are headed to Key West to sample and rate some of the finest fish smoke dips in town. Key West is the southernmost point in the United States and is known for its seafood, beaches, historic sites, and signature conch-style architecture. What's up, guys? We're in Key West right now with my brother, J.C. We're just going to give you a tour around Key West, you know, try some smoke fish dip, one of the best. Then we're here, first stop, Eaton Street Seafood Market. So we're gonna try it out right now. See how it is. The eater down. First bite. That's fire, bro. That's real good. That's a. That's nine out of ten. Fire. 
you know. I just love fish dip. Alright, just got some fish tip from Conk Republic. And now we're at Mallory Square. And now we're about to go eat some fish tip right here. Open that. Ooh. Oh, jalapeno. That's gotta go. That. You said no jalapenos though. Over there. Yeah. That's 10 out of 10, baby. Wow. 10 out of 10, bro. Definitely gotta go get that over there. Gotta take I really go. You look at the internet and you search up. Best fish dip in Key West. Kong Republic comes up. And they're right. And they're right. No doubt. I'll say something. So good. So good. Mm. So we went to our third stop, Hog's Breath. Check out that fish dip. Ooh, now we're gonna see what option number three gives us. All right, it's all right. So I'll give this one like a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, seven out of ten. Yeah, I but like it. You're good. I can eat all of it. Yeah, I can eat all this all day. It's still good. Eight out of ten. There you go. Can't complain. I recommend it. And. It's not only the food, if you're looking to a bar, you're looking for a bar to chill, eat, have a couple of drinks or something, have a nice little snack, pop breath, it's a good place to do it. So we're here at Sunset Pier. We got our last fourth stop, and this one doesn't look bad. We got a nice view with it. So oh, no. It's tasty. Give it a taste, my boy. Yeah, that does look good. Ooh, it's like creamy and stuff, too. Bro. This one's super good. It'll be on like a nine. Damn. Nine out of ten. Definitely not. Nine out of ten, boys. They're real good. Anywhere in Key West, fire. If I can get it on a chip, fire. Good stuff. Mm, so good. So good. So good. So good. Yeah. So good. Thank you for joining us on Real Life Adventures. We're here in Key West enjoying the rest of the day. And now join us on the next episode. All apparel worn in this episode, available on reallifegear.com. Visit reallifegear.com.